Hello, hello, I am EJ, you are you, and welcome to my channel. Today, y'all, we are going to the beach, and hopefully it isn't the one that makes you old, but we're gonna find out the hard way. We are going to be finishing our beaches on Quadratini today. We have three incredible beach builds, and then after that, it's really just filling in the blanks, which I will do later, because I'm lazy. So, come along with me on this beach adventure, and let's see if we can figure out what a Wild West beach even looks like. Come along, and if you like this journey, consider subscribing so you can see the next video. Okay, let's go. The first beach that we are going to be building is going to be, ready, a picnic area. Like, what? <laughs> Who would have thought of it? Who does picnic areas in Animal Crossing? I know, I'm an innovator. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, okay? The crown of innovator. Okay, but yeah, so obviously, um, picnic is not necessarily the most creative of beach ideas. But listen, not every idea has to be, you know, breaking every precedent. There's a lot of picnic items in Animal Crossing, so might as well use them. And when I looked up like things that people do along like rivers in Arizona and stuff, you know, picnicking was a big thing. So why not? We got some frozen treats here because it's hot on this desert. Um, so you know we gotta keep high hydrate. Cool, cool, not hydrate. I mean, I guess you it, technically you're still getting hydrated from it, but I feel like people don't really eat popsicles to get. I created. Anyways, so another thing that I'm doing with these beaches is I'm putting down a bunch of weeds and I'm also putting down this katamatsu, um, which is a plant that you get, I think in January? Don't quote me on that. Um, but when it's turned around back, it kind of looks like a cactus and you can't really place anything else cactus-like on the beaches. I mean, I could put like the throwback mitt chairs, which I've used elsewhere on my island, but um, frankly, I just didn't have them in my inventory, so. I didn't do that. Now my pattern for placing down the weeds and things is I basically just put down a bunch of weeds and then I take some away to put in either some like the flower starts or I'll put in, you know, a, some log stakes or a rock or something like that. Basically I just work by filling up an area with greenery and then I add texture to it. Um, I've also been placing down some weeds and then picking them up and I'm trying to get like a certain exact type of weed because at this point we have passed that 150 limit on on, um, weeds that are gonna grow and spread. So these weeds aren't gonna grow or change or anything now. So we're good. After that, I wanted to build a cute little path that goes from, that connects uh, the picnic to the rest of the island um, because you actually can't access, even though it's like directly in front of that like cute little marketplace, um, you can't actually access the beach from the marketplace because of the way that the items are laid out. So I wanted to give it a cute access point over here by the fruit stand and by the entrance to the island. Now, what you're seeing here with like the wave breaker and I'm gonna put down a wild log bench to be like driftwood. That's really what I think I'm going to do for the rest of the beaches that I don't have like a big area for. Um, one of the things I really didn't like about my first island that I did on this channel was that I felt like the beaches were kind of overdone and really over full. So I wanted to make sure that I'm leaving some space and some negative space around here, especially on a desert island, you know, like why would I pack the beaches full of stuff um, if it's a desert, right? So I'm definitely gonna try and do some more like driftwood and weeds and like that's kind of it. Like that's gonna be it yeah, for the beaches and just like leave them empty, leave them cute finishing up last touches with our picnic area before we decide to move on to our next area, which is going to be a campsite. I think this is the third campsite that we have on this island, but you know what? I think it makes sense because people go to the West and they camp. Famously, people camp in the West. Uh, you heard it here, fo folks, you heard it here. People in the West do be camping though. So because the kid tents that I'm placing down, they don't have like a bottom, um, which, Sounds like a problem if you ask me. Uh, I put down some padding so that you could see uh, something underneath it and it wasn't just like more sand. Um, I think it really helps just kind of sell the illusion that it's, you know, a uh, tent and people are staying inside it. And, and then of course for the lovely little verticality, I'm putting some jail bars behind it. Um, and you know, some more dirt, as, cause why, why not more dirt? You know what I'm saying? Hi, it's me, Laura Dirt. <laughs> 
<laughs> star of Jurassic Park. Okay, that was stupid. I, instead of putting down a termite mound, I decided to go and throw caution to the wind. And by caution, I mean precedent to the wind. And I made a tall garden rock to put in between it. What? Crazy, right? But not at all. I think it looks really good. I had the brief idea to make this like a cute little sauna spa moment. But then I was thinking about like geothermal like springs and stuff. And it's like, why would there be a geothermal spring on the on the sandy beach, ne you know, next to the water? It just doesn't make sense. And then I put down a campfire uh, cookware thing. I've noticed that with my, as I mentioned, like this is the third you know, camping area that I have on this island. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't making just like the same area three times over. So I try not to use like a bunch of the same items I use in the other ones. And so even though this campfire could wear is cute and like definitely used in the other ones, I tried to make it look a little bit different by putting down the rock patterns. That was a long way to say that. Hmm. And now the other inspiration for this area is inspired by um, river tubing which a friend of mine who grew up in Arizona told me about. Um, and he was like, yeah, we used to like, you know, we get into a river, you go down the saltwater river, the, the water's cold, it's really hot in Arizona, so it's nice, you drink drinks. So I was like gonna take a nod to that, even though this is technically the ocean. Um, and I put down some tubes, but they're just life rings, but they're tubes. Um, and then I also put down like a cute little, uh, what is that called, a cooler and stuff like that. Also, LOL, start snowing because we're in December. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the grass looks the best in December. So like, ignore the snow. It, it's very hot here, okay? D ignore the ice falling from the sky. And then on this one little strange, I kind of think of this as the panhandle. That's like a Florida term, right? That's for the, the skinny part of it. That's what I feel like. This beach is my Florida beach because it's, it's shaped like Florida. If you really don't know what Florida is shaped like. If you like had to blindly draw Florida, I think it would probably come out looking a lot like the shape of this beach is what I'm trying to say. So anyways, what I was gonna say is I um, am just kind of like filling up that with like some oil barrels and weeds and stuff like that. Just to add in some texture, filling it in, making making sure that like this empty space is still looks um, intentional and things like that. And as always, I'm putting a bunch of patterns underneath every item that I put down because it just adds some, you know, dimension and some layers. All right, we moved to early in November because I was sick of the snow, um, but it's also late in night. And this last area that we're doing is gonna be a boardwalk, a boardwalk empire, starring what's his face from Monsters Inc. and also from the other shows. He, he kind of looks silly. Steve Bashemi, Steve Bashemi. Okay, so we're making a boardwalk here. Um, I just thought, you know what? Why not have a place of commas um, along the along the ocean? People come here. They're gonna they're gonna buy stuff. They're gonna buy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I put down some boards. I said, I guess one could walk along these, um, and that's 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 all she wrote. Now on the one end of the boardwalk, I'm putting like a clothing textile shop and I wanna make it look, I have these great patterns that I got from land on Instagram um, that are just like kind of Canyon inspired things. I've used them a few places on my island um, and this is gonna be no exception just cause I love the way it looks. So I customized some kimono stands and things like that. And I customized a loom to look like that. And so we've got these stalls to be like the place for the commerce to happen and then we've got uh just it'll be like a cute little like shopping like basically like people are making the cloth here it's not like a clothing store it's more of like a cloth textile store does that make sense yeah i think it does and of course we've got some jail bars for verticality you think <laughs> you thought i wouldn't think about verticality you fool i always think about verticality anyways um so yeah th that's the pattern on the kimono stand isn't that cute it's also the blanket pattern that we use for the picnic blanket um and i also use the cushions um on the thing I I'll, I'll use cushions again with the same patterns um in this build so you'll see them soon see here they are boom wow what great timing you would think i would plan i plan these things out I don't, but you'd think that I do based off of that. I mean, the timing was just so perfect. I love a sturdy sewing box. This sewing box I've had, I think since like the very beginning of the game and I have used it in basically every single build or not every single, yeah, every single version of like my island. Um, I just think that's funny. It's like a, th a fun, what a fun little through line, the sturdy sewing box, you know? Old fashioned uh, sewing machine here. And then we're gonna put down the loom on the other side. I think it'd be pretty silly to put a loom here in real life, but guess what? 
this isn't real life. It's Animal Crossing. Uh, so get, get get out of here if you're going to try and poke holes in my logic. Um, and then along this side, we're going to do, I, I kind of was thinking like, okay, what did they sell in the West? And you know what they sold in the Wild West back then or whatever? Smiths. Smiths. Uh, what? They didn't smell. They didn't sell Smiths, but like Smiths were like a business. I transported earlier in time because I just it, the the sunlight at sunset, especially in fall, is just like too orange for me, and I can't tell what I'm doing. So, right. So this is a Smith, a smithing stall. There's going to be two smithing stalls. This one is an iron smithing stall. So I have an iron nugget. I put like a kettlebell. I put a pan, um, and then this one down here, I'm going to make like the gold smithing like stand so that I, I got I got some gold items we got some gold nugs some gold nuggies um, and it's gonna look all, all all gold and stuff so basically this is like the industry boardwalk market place like you got your textiles you got your blacksmith you got your goldsmith and uh you got mr and mrs smith angelina jolie brad pitt they're just here they're saying hey we're so hot and you're like okay i mean yes you are and they're like we're super spies back to this build i put a garden bench down because uh you know gotta sit down Woo, the shopping's tiring you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying. And then I had to figure out what to do with this massive empty space below it um, because it's kind of like obscured by the museum. So I didn't really want to put anything of substance down here. So basically what I ended up doing is just putting down like some fencing. I put down like a big palm tree um, and that is what's going to fill in this space, a bunch of weeds, things like that. Basically it's there for texture, it's there for looks, and it's not necessarily a practical place that you're going to be like hanging out in. So now let's do a walkthrough, yeah? So we're going to start with the area that we finished last and this, this, uh, the, 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 the industry boardwalk uh, market. So we got our textile shop back at the back. They're making textiles. They got the sturdy sewing box, all that cute stuff. We have, of course, our blacksmith over here. He's making kettlebells. He's making cast iron skillets. It's great. And then we have our goldsmith making some gold shoes, making a candelabra, making a golden dung beetle. It's cute. And also, I just like that I found a way to use some of those gold items because I feel like I don't, I never really use those in any builds. So it's kind of cute to use them here. Nice. Next up, we have a cute little walk to our cute little picnic area. So now you can see that this is the same blanket that I had on that um, kimono and stuff like that. So there you go. Here it is, a cute little picnic spot. Um, this is one of another, there's another picnic spot that looks very similar to this, but there's only one that's on the beach and that's what's important. Look at me, I'm so relaxed. I'm chillaxing, relaxing all cool. I'm playing some b-ball down by the school. Shout out to McKenna. I like how this area turned out just because I feel like it's very lackadaisical. I feel like it's very sparse, but like, you know, intentionally sparse or whatever. All right, moving on to our last area, the beachside campsite. Beachside campsite slash salt water uh, tubing place for drinking. I like how this turned out, very cute. I think this is the second um, camping area that I've done on this beach, so we love her. Um, and then I just said, I'm not gonna show you this anymore, and I walked away um, before I could give a real good walkthrough, but look, look at the beaches. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to watch it to the end. Shout out to Anastasia for calling me out on forgetting to put a question at the end of my last video. So today I want you guys to let me know if you watch to the end of the video by letting me know, how are you? How's it going? What's up? All right, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button to come hang out with me more. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay hydrated, stay cool, and uh, 